right, good morning. It is a few days after Christmas and I am filming this on my new Canon G7X. I'm so excited for this camera. I've been wanting something new. I've been using my husband's camera this whole time and I've been wanting my own camera with a flip screen so I can do these type of vlogs um, easier. This will be kind of like a review on the camera, just my first kind of feelings about it. So far, just kind of using it a little bit here and there, I have already noticed a big difference in the quality. It's so crisp and the colors are really, really good. Nighttime is even really good. Low light is really good, so I'll try and show some of that stuff and just kind of a little bit of like a daily life thing but kind of showing it through using the new camera and the quality and just kind of a little bit of like a mini review I guess on my first few my first thoughts about it and I was debating between this camera and I believe it was the Sony was it the Sony or was it the Canon M50 I don't know, I don't remember. I gotta go back and look. I'm probably just completely throwing out something. Um, but there's another one, it was a little bit bigger, not as big as I think the one that we were originally using. And um, it had the interchangeable lenses and you can add a mic. Oh, it's getting really dark now, see? But I can see that now. So I don't know, hopefully it, hopefully there you go, lightens up a little bit again. Um, so that's kind of a, a big main difference, but I really wanted something compact and not so just large and when you add that extra external mic, it makes it even more noticeable and huge and hard to put in my bag and so I love this one so far. I've seen other vloggers with it and I feel like it does the job. I feel like it's more of just how you use the camera and the shots you take is what I think really can enhance your your vlogs and I've seen people with the more expensive or not the more expensive it's actually the same price um, but you have to buy lenses if you want to you know do that so if you want the bigger camera um, I really couldn't tell the difference when I saw vloggers using the other one so the compactness of this one and still the really good quality is what is making me you know, it was what made me lean towards this one. This is one my husband got me, so I'm super excited to kind of show show it a little bit. So that is what I'll be working on today and maybe tomorrow, and I'll get that. This video will hopefully be up on Monday. Yeah. There's my gym. I love Lifetime. It's so good. I love their classes, but big thing I noticed with this camera compared to my other one is stability is amazing. Ended up deciding on going to Target instead. Costco is gonna be probably a mess today. It's Saturday and it's almost 11. Mm -mm. I might try this one. If you haven't already hit up the dollar section of Target, they have Valentine's stuff. I got these cute socks for Nyla. I have some stuff for New Year's. I think our neighborhood's gonna get together. So I got some stuff for the kids and adults if they want it. Look how cute these planners are. I need a new one, so I'm gonna grab one. This one's super cute, so I think I might grab this one. I like that it has the lines already in there. Look how awesome these plates are. I hate buying ones with all the bleach and the coloring of them. These ones are really, really awesome. All right, got some Target shopping done. Now we're gonna head home. I think it's focused. We're gonna head home and what's next
So I just did a quick little target run. I didn't want to be gone too long from Brave, just feeding wide. I grabbed a few kind of random, I feel like when you go to Target, you end up grabbing a lot of random stuff. Uh, I did grab that kind of um, all natural deodorant that I wanted to try. With the banana on the other hand, look at you. Say, I am not impressed. Oh, bee, you barely touch. Little bee, you barely touch. <laughs> little tiptoes. Those beauty shots, and you get a little bit of depth of field. Oh, oh, bless you, you guys. So this is in not the best lighting, but it's still picking it up pretty crisp. And then going through to really dim lights. She doesn't get much light in her room because she's her window's facing nothing. So she does not get very much light in her room, but look how good the quality still is. And then Jolby's room gets a ton of light in his room. So all right, so this is kind of showing how it looks like in at nighttime with not much light on it at all. We have no lights on in the house except for the TV and a few lights behind me, but nothing overhead really is turned on. So pretty good, still pretty crisp and clear and bright. try and make my lunch. Right, I'm putting in some celery, some green onion, some, some onion, and bell pepper. Just making a little stir fry with some chicken meatballs. Yummy. That's so <laughs> yummy, huh? You just like. Save the meatballs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Like we get eight today. 
I'm gonna add some coconut aminos, some honey, and some peanuts. Hi, Miss Bray. You gonna watch me eat? Hi. Is it? Oh. What? Why are you so pretty? We don't know, huh? Oh yeah. Lucky girl, look at all that spit coming out. Oh, we're so happy. That guy scares you every time, huh? <laughs> Who's that? What's up? Can I already run with Izzy and Jericho around? Like this whole part area? On your bike? Yeah, Jobby's. He's not using his. He's using his character. We're just playing with his my characters. Where are you going? I'm just like around this part. Okay, you have to be smart and careful. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the kids are outside playing and I'm with Miss Brave. Josh went to get some Starbucks, so I am trying out the view screen where I can see everything, which is really nice. Hi, Miss Brave. Hi, Nuff. So, um, it's nice because you can actually see the good light, whereas I, when I was holding the other camera, I couldn't see a thing. So it was kind of pointless, but I think you get the best light this way if you want it not too dark, too bright, like that. Um, but yeah, so the picture looks really clear though. It's nice to be able to see what you're filming and how you look and the, the lighting I think is most important because you want to have that good lighting when you're filming. So, looks really good though and crisp and clear and it's so much easier to hold. It's not as heavy as my other camera. So now I am back on my old camera so I can film showing the camera and the box and kind of everything that came with it. So this is the Canon G7X and it's so pretty. It's small. This is my hand. Let me see if I can... So it's nice and small and compact. It's a really nice screen. Here's the box that it came in. I did get the Mark II. The Mark III we heard had really bad issues with the focus. So I heard the Mark II was a better way to go. Mark III does have a spot for a, where you can plug in a speaker or a microphone, which is nice. This one doesn't, but um, yeah, the, the focus on the other one was gonna be a problem. So it came with the battery. It came with the battery charger. And then obviously the manual. All right, so the screen does move. You can pull it out so you can see and tilt it uh, where you can see yourself. And I like it up because it takes up less space. But, there's... hi baby. Um, but it does cover up the mic output if there was an output. But the Mark III has it on the side, which I think is kind of nice. Just look at the camera on top. Oh, this is focusing. All right, before I forget, I wanted to show the sizing difference. And I wanted, I didn't know which camera to film it on since I have to show them both. But so here's kind of the sizing difference. You can see how much bigger this one is. I'm trying to put it up so you can, it's easy to see. It's kind of hard to see still. Thinner, this one's really fat. And then the microphone was super annoying. Oh. <gasps> 
Hey, little wiggle worm. Hi, baby. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have her new little, um, I guess it's, it's kind of like a pillow, but it's supposed to help with making sure their head is like a hole. It helps for their head not to be misshapen if they lay down a lot. So I don't, don't put it in her, her bassinet yet. I just have it here with the changing pad. But it's really comfy though. It's like memory foam. Hi, Yav. Hi, pretty girl. Okay, I quickly want to go through just some of the pros and cons of the Canon G7X. Um, I'm loving it right now. I've only had it for maybe two or three days, but so far it's been really fun to use and easy and the quality is really good. Uh, my pros and cons for it would be obviously the small and compactness of it is wonderful. Like that is a huge pro for me because my previous camera was huge, it had the big microphone attached to it. And this could be obviously a con for a lot of people, but I really like that it doesn't need any lenses. So I like not having to carry lenses around and you already have the good quality in there. See, I love that the screen pops up and set it to the side. I feel like it makes it even more compact just when it kind of opens out. It's just more space that you have to have but I love it going up though. I think it is easier to look at. I feel like this camera is very easy to use. It's just kind of like a point and shoot or point and film and I love just the ease of it. Obviously most cameras I think have Wi-Fi capability but this one does too so that's still a plus. The image stabilization is huge for me. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Our last camera was horrible with that so this one so far has been really good. I see a difference just when I walk with it. You don't see those big bounces. So that has been a huge plus having this camera. I have one con. Um, that's how much I'm enjoying it. My only con would be, and I think this is what everybody kind of complains about, is the sound. There's no ability to plug in a microphone. So you kind of have to deal with what is given to you and I mean, I don't know yet how the sound's gonna turn out. I haven't uploaded any video yet, so I don't know. Um, but definitely going to playback mode. Going to playback mode, it does sound a little muffled. So we will see how that turns out. That might be a deal breaker if it is horrible. My husband's really picky with that kind of stuff. So I will, yeah, you'll see in the video if it ends up turning out good or not. <gasps> what? But so far, it's, it's, I mean, it doesn't seem too bad. So we'll see. I wish it did have a little connection for like a little tiny mic to add on, but it doesn't. So that's kind of the biggest flaw, I think. And I think is what they fixed in the Mark III. But the image focus was really bad in that one. So um, I've heard a lot of people even returning it and getting the Mark II again because of the image focus. And this one's actually really good. I feel like it does. It takes a little bit of time sometimes but I think overall it focuses really well yeah that is pretty much it that I have um, I definitely would recommend it I just have the one con which is pretty good for a camera so yeah I hope that helps a little bit kind of seeing someone else using it it's kind of my little mini first first impression of the Canon G7X but definitely giving it a, I'll give it an A, not an A plus just because the sound, but if it had a mic input, I would give it an A plus, so. I am going to, she is getting, I think, a little tired and like super antsy. Huh, oh my love, we got lots of bubbles. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I will see you in the next video. Say bye, say bye. Ha <laughs> ha.